Good morning, friends. It's great to be with you this morning. Obviously, I'm not home, and you can hear behind me. There's other stuff going on. Let me see if I can show you what's going on here. We're at the Amarillo Community Prayer Breakfast, so it is so great uh, to be able to celebrate with our community and see everything that is uh, is going on this morning. So I'm going to scoot back here. So it is just such a pleasure and an honor to be able to pray with our community, to gather with pastors and community leaders and pray for what God is doing and uh, in our community and to just join together. So thank you for joining me today. I want to encourage you, if you're just now finding us on Facebook, please like and follow Trinity Fellowship Church, and that way you'll get all the... All right, sorry about that. We got disconnected for just a second, but I'm back on. Hopefully, uh, you'll be able to, uh, to connect. Like I said before, I'm downtown at the Amarillo Civic Center here, being able to pray with our community and those that are a part of our community at the Amarillo Community Prayer Breakfast. And uh, just uh, please be joining us as we are praying for our communities, all of our communities, for our nation, for the people uh, that are leaders, our pastors, everyone that's a part of leading our communities. It's an opportunity for us to come together. Well, this is going to be a little bit different. I'll be a little shorter today because uh, I'm down here at this, but I do want to pray. And I want to read one of my favorite Psalms. When I think about the gathering together and all of us coming together, uh, as we do here for the community prayer breakfast, it makes me think of Psalm 133. And Psalm 133 says, How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. Or another translation for that word is unity. So it's great that we can come together in harmony, come together in unity, just like we're doing here in our community, being a part of what God is doing and gathering together to pray for our community and to pray for our state and to pray for our nation. You know, it's just important that we come together and from all different churches, from all different even some different denominations, different perspectives to come together and be able to celebrate together. It says, for harmony or unity is as precious as the anointing oil that was poured over Aaron's head that ran down his beard and on to the border of his robe. Harmony is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And there the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. And so when we see this psalm, it has a, a, a couple of promises for us. It has promises that have to do with living together in unity, living together in harmony. Harmony. This is why God so desires for us to come together in harmony and live in unity and to be peacemakers. You know, he says, blessed are the peacemakers, those who are working to live in harmony and in unity. And it, there's two, a couple of promises in it. It says, first of all, it's like the precious anointing oil that was poured over Aaron's head that went down his beard down onto his robes, all the way to the hem of his garment. And anytime we see anointing in scripture, it's talking about the anointing oil of authority. It's the authority to do something. It's the authority to break through. It's the authority to move forward. And that's what this anointing is. That living together in harmony is where we get authority. It's where we get anointing. And then he continues and he says, harmony or unity is as refreshing as the dew from Mount Hermon that falls on the mountains of Zion. And this idea of the dew, it, it, you have to see the geography of Israel because Mount Hermon is at the headwaters of the Jordan River. And of course, it's really the only source of water for the entire Jordan Valley that goes all the way down to the Dead Sea. So the only source of water comes from Mount Hermon. So in other words, the provision for all of Israel comes from the dew on Mount Hermon. So what he's saying is you get anointing when you live together in unity and in harmony and you get provision. The provision that you need from heaven comes when we live together in harmony and in unity. And then he concludes the psalm by saying, and there the Lord has pronounced his blessing, even life everlasting. And so it's just incredible that we have this promise from the Lord of what it is to live in unity. And so that's really my prayer for all of us this morning. So Father, we're just thankful for you. We're thankful for your life and for your your uh, joy that you give each one of us, the grace you give each one of us. And God, I pray today that you would cause us, your people, to live in harmony, to live in unity. As we're going to work today, as we're getting ready to go to school, as we're going into the Thanksgiving weekend and being able to celebrate with our families, God, I ask that this would be a time that you would give us the ability to be peacemakers and to live to, with harmony and unity and release the provision, release the blessing that comes with it. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, it's been great to be with you this morning. Tomorrow we'll pick back up and finish up Titus. And uh, so excited to be with you. We love you guys. I know Kim is sending her love as well. Have an amazing day. God bless.